for the most part this year, he's been able to stay healthy, stay on the court. They've let him play, Skip. It's no more of these managing his minutes, letting him play 20 minutes, and that's it. The game's closed. They're down by four points, or they're up by two, and the guy can't come back in because he's reached his minutes quota. They're letting him play. What they've done, Skip, is they've allowed him to handle the ball so it's less likely you can be able to double-team him once he gets down the block. So you're allowing him to get ahead of steam. And once he comes downhill, Skip, uh, you kind of at his mercy. Mm -hmm. Because you're not worried about him, Skip. You're not worried about him pulling the, up the three. But you can't let him get a running start. It's kind of like LeBron. You notice LeBron to get the guy, get the big on him. Then he'll back out. And now that's what he wants to do. He wants to get ahead of steam, and you're at his mercy. The difference is, is that LeBron is looking, he can get all the way to the rim, or he's looking to pass. Zion is looking to score the basketball because even though he's had an increase of possessions where he's handled the ball, Skip, he's only averaging three and a half cents per night. So it's telling me that he's not looking to be a, a, a facilitator of the offense. I'm trying to get the ball into the basket. And it's hard, Skip. A guy that's six foot six, they list him at 284. At 295 to 300, that quick, that explosive, with that mm -hmm. body size, Skip, he barely touches people. And guys moving like Moses part of the Red Sea. Yeah, he has that because when Shaq bumped into people, Skip, people went flying. Yep. But Shaq was 7'1", 300. Yep. But this kid here, I've never seen anything like it. He's Charles Barkley 2.0, Skip. That's what he is. You remember how Charles was? Charles was just, just like this. But I don't know if Charles was quite this side. Charles says he weighed 300. He got his weight down to 250. Zion ain't 250. Mm. That's a huge Huge man. And and Rick Carlisle is right. Skip, this guy, he man, he'd be wrecking with. I, ain't, I haven't seen anything like this. Mm. I told you when he was at Duke, I'd never <laughs> seen anything like it. So I was first guessing this because what, what Rick Carlisle said last night is so right. He's Shaq-like with a point guard skill set. That's the difference is that he's so skilled with the basketball and he is so explosively quick at 300 pounds, whatever. <laughs> I, th that's what we've never seen before. Right. Is the quickness and the explosiveness, the ability to whirl and spin. Yes. And and with either hand get to the basket because he's just as good with either side. It, it just doesn't matter to right. him. And he's way more skilled at the basket than Giannis is. Giannis just does it with brute force and length. I will go up over you and dunk over you or finger roll yeah, over well, I'm you. Yeah, seven foot tall. So. Okay, that's what he does. Yeah. And he's long, yes. Giannis is. But when you build the wall in the playoffs, as Toronto did that year to him, they just said, no, you can't. And Miami did it last year. Right. You, you just can't come in here. Right. And, and he, he, he's not explosively quick. He's just long and tall. Right. And, and strong. And so if you say, you, you can't get a foothold in, in our lane, we won't let you get near the basket – he has a hard time because he has no mid mid range shot at all. Right. Well, neither does Zion, and it doesn't matter. And I keep <laughs> thinking, well, gee, maybe he'll figure this out. Maybe they'll they'll start having him shoot fifteen foot because he can shoot threes. He's like thirty six percent from three. Right. He'll he'll make some. Right. It looks good. The 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 shot looks good coming off his hand. He's got his free throws all the way up to what seventy percent. He, he's pretty good. Right. He he can shoot it, and he will grow in that area. But right now. He is so explosive that the grown men in this league cannot deal with no. him. And that, that's what Rick said, Rick Carlisle. It presents huge challenges for the defense and for the officials. He's just creating collisions out there. Well, he is. It's, 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 it's hard to referee. I, I always like say Shaq. Shaq. You couldn't referee Shaq. Is it a block or a charge? I don't know. He's just running over people. Well, they're getting in his way. Are they fouling him? Yeah, they're fouling him. Is he running over? Yeah, they yeah, just kind of run over. It's both. <laughs> he's just turning basketball into football. He's just running through the defense, right. powering through the defense. Well, Zion is powering through it, but but he's way more skilled than Shaq or even Barkley were at the rim, like at the rim. Because Skip, Shaq needed somebody to bring him the ball. Shaq yeah. was down on the block. What they've done with this kid is say, here, you bring the ball up. Or, Go do what you need to do. Yeah, see what you got. Or, or give it to him at the top of the circle and, and just let him wheel on people. And like you said, he's so quick at putting the ball on the floor, getting – yeah, he's left-hand dominant. He wants – all things being equal, he wants to get he, to the left side. Go that way. But, yep. Skip, he misses a shot. And before you realize that he's missing, he's back up, got the rebound, and laid it back in. Quickest jumper I've ever seen yeah, for I've never his seen size. It. For that size, Skip, yep. the way he can leave the floor, 
hit the floor and be right back up again. Mm. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 special. He, this he's is special. athletic ability that Charles Barkley did not have. No, no, no. Charles was a much better shooter, yes. obviously, because Charles had range right. and, and he could handle and shoot right. it. I haven't seen that yet from Zion, but but they're just saying, well, wait a second, he doesn't really need that yet. And look at his PER, player efficiency rating, which is the ultimate sort of the QBR right. of basketball uh -huh. stats. He's fourth in the league. He's behind Jokic and Embiid and Giannis. He's fourth yeah. because they can't stop him. No. And he's making 62, oh, really, let's go up to 62.8. So it's 63% of his shots. That's just running away with, with the percentage. Yeah. And considering, Skip, we see guys come off the bench and they take five, six shots a night. They make four of them big guys. And they have a high. But, Skip, when he's taking, when you take as many shots as he is mm. and you're averaging 62%, 63% of his shots, and he's shooting 50, somewhere between like 17 and 20 shots a night, yep. yeah, yeah, it's going to be, yeah. you got your work cut out yeah, for him. He's up 71% from the free throw line. So that will work. Yeah. So the point is, we saw, he, remember, he, he hasn't even played an 82-game schedule yet, so he's still just a baby, you right. know, like in, in NBA experience. So all of a sudden, I, I watch them every night. They are must-see to me. Yeah. And on Friday night, they lose at home to Denver, and he goes 39-10-5, but he made 16 of 19 shots. That That's impossibly yeah. great. And he made six of seven free throws, and he made one of one of his three-point attempts. Right. He was a plus 13. Meanwhile, his teammate Brandon Ingram was a minus 29 because he was 5 of 17 from the floor. Right. It's why I keep telling you the most perplexing team I've seen in a long, long time is New Orleans because I can't, they have such star power and they have a hard time winning games. Well, Skip, they, because they're such a young team, both of their stars need to go off simultaneous in order for them to win. Neither guy is really that good enough, Skip. Like, if Zion scores 15 points, B.I. is not going to really care. They need to both be in the 20s yep. for this team to have success because, as you mentioned, you see Zion go get 39, but B.I. struggle, they lose. Yep. But well, then the next night they play Dallas, and they beat Dallas because Zion went for 38, but, but Brandon had a pretty good game and went 13. Of, let's see, he went... Zion went 13 of 20, and, and Brandon scored 19. He right. was better. He was 8 of 15 for the right. floor. So he was a plus 4, but Zion was a plus 16, and those added up mm -hmm. to we beat Dallas tonight. Yeah, they, he, he's, he's a four, Skip. He's, I mean, a big man. That I mean, he just moves hey. people out of the way, Skip. I mean, they go straight up in there. They're like, when I went straight up in the air, and the next day you know they're up under the basket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I loved it that they did not trade Lonzo Ball. I think both of us thought, yeah. don't do it. It, he's too valuable to you. Right. He's too good a fit to you. He he and Lonzo are peanut butter right. and jelly, man. Right. I mean, you, how can you get a better Lonzo combo get, than Lonzo that? Lonzo get three, four assists a game just on lobs. Just off lobs. Just it, especially when they start to run the floor together. Whew, you got a Malone but and guess Stockton what? going but, on. What did uh, David Griffin say? The man saw the cross from me and says he wants to be here. Why would he even have to tell you he wants to be there? Because of his father. And that's what it's given, that's where me and LeBar differ at. I get it. You're a grown man. You can say whatever you want to say. Yep. But at some point in time, you're going to realize what you're saying is calling harm to your kids. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. Okay, you want your opinion? Okay, fine. Lonzo Ball should not have to sit across for his general manager and says, I want to be here. Because his general manager said, well, he's thinking just like what I said. That came from somewhere. Yep. He didn't just make that up. That is correct. But he raved about Lonzo's work ethic because it's there. Yes. And he raved about how hard he works in the weight room because he does. And he raved about how much he's worked on his shot. It, he, it's he, not broken it's, anymore. Right. He fixed it. Right. It works. He looks like a man now. He carries himself like a professional. Right. It, it all looks like it's coming together. And I'm glad he's still there because this team's got a horde of draft picks, too. They're, they're going to get yeah, nothing right. but better. Right. And Pretty soon, they're going to start to figure out how to close games. And when they do, you better look out. Yeah, Skip, if they get – I think they just – I think they're better in a way. They're better. You see what Chris Paul, the calming effect that he's brought to Phoenix? Yeah. They need somebody like that. I would agree. I thought maybe Eric Bledsoe could play part of that role, but he's splitting the point right. guard time with Lonzo. And then they, they go in the draft with the 13th overall pick and take Kyra Lewis from Alabama, right. and he's a 6'1 point guard. Right. So it – 
it always seems a little out of whack to yeah, me. Yeah, I thought Holiday was that guy. I thought Holiday, well, you know, he yeah. was all the NBA players skip, but for whatever reason, it really never meshed with him, B.I., and, 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 and Zion. I, I think they're a monster waiting to emerge. You think they make the playoffs this year? You think they make the play-in? Well, they haven't shown their – they're in 12. Seventh, I know, but they're seventh in offense and 28th in defense until they decide they're no, going to no. play some defense no, that, every night. That, 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 that 28 need to come, come closer yeah. to seven. I'm not saying it needs to be seven, mm -hmm. but it needs to start tr trending in that direction. As David Griffin said, we have seen flashes of very positive things and flashes that have been very alarming. And I, I would agree with that. And I don't, Lonzo, the defense, Lonzo the defense has really, been very, very alarming. Well, that's what I'm saying. Lonzo can really defend. But Zion Blazo. hasn't decided to yet. No, not B, at the B, level. B, I don't read, no, and B.I. doesn't. Nope. And that's the thing. I mean, you got, Skip, you can't have your two guards the only one that's going to defend. Agreed. <laughs> Josh Hart de will defend. Yep. But, you know, he comes off the bench. We need Z Zion and, and B.I. are going to have to buy in. So, you know what my final problem is with this team? What? Stan I don't Van get Gundy. Stan Van Gundy. I just don't get it. <laughs> they are not responding <laughs> I know to you Stan, say Van Stan Van Gundy. Stan Van Gundy. Sorry. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.